Hey everyone, first of all, thank you so much for showing all the support and all the love that you have been showing to my DVD playlist and I'm really happy that you guys liked it and I got a lot of uh, good uh, feedbacks on top of it, a lot of good comments and I really hope that I helped you in the DVD journey. So today I'm, I'm launching a new playlist on Kafka and Spark Structure Streaming and this is the launch video. And I've been trying to do create this uh, we, uh, playlist from a very long time, but I was just planning the material around it. And there's a lot more to cover. And this is one of my favorite stack for any real time application, right? So this is finally here. I, I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get on the presentation. So I'd like to show like what we are going to cover it and why I'm so excited about this playlist. I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Okay. So have you got like this type of notification from a bank that uh, suppose there is any suspicious activity going on with your bank account, you get a message from a bank that there could be something uh, fraud happening in your account. So how do you think that how banks uh, will be able to identify this right so this is something that the batch data processing won't be able to provide you right so you cannot just wait for even for thir like 30 minutes to find out okay the this is the fraud happening with your account so the bank wants to get this information as quickly as they can right so this is something that only uh, real-time processing will be able to provide you some of the um, like some of the use cases of for this like suppose you are changing an address frequently for every day right so that's not the usual activity from your account so bank would be able to identify okay uh, this is not the same like this is not the transaction that the particular person does every day right similar one of the other use cases could be where fraud might be happening like right? so suppose within an hour you did like 20 transactions to 20 different accounts so this is an unusual activity so bank wants to identify that and they want to uh, notify the user okay there is a some fraud right it's the one of the use case other use cases could be like you can use kafka with spark structure streaming for log analytics right so you have a, a lot of operation systems and you want to identify that okay why are the errors happening right so for that you need all your logs to be stored in a centralized place then you need a computation engine which does the processing and finds out like what are the insights of your logs right that is one use case other use case could be like this is a very popular use case in iot devices so in all the internet of things devices you have sensors you get the sensor data you want to identify that okay what are the appliances that is not doing well you want to do predictive maintenance you want to find out okay what are my devices that is going to need maintenance in near future right so you i want to identify it you want to talk to a customer that this this particular device need maintenance so see all these things needs to be in near real time or real time because you want to get inside as quickly as you can Okay, so for this like Kafka and Spark st structure streaming is one of the very m popular stack that you can find in uh, near real time or real time uh, application, right? So I'm very bullish about this two technology. I'm very excited that I can share all the insights, everything that I know about this technology and I look forward for explaining that. Okay. So these are the things that I'm planning to cover in this particular series. This will be very good. Like I'll cover from everything from Kafka to Spark, how these two technology work together. So this playlist will get you started and this will give you a lot of knowledge that you can start creating projects and you can start applying this knowledge in your projects, right? So here are the things that I am planning to cover. First, we'll understand the Apache Kafka for real-time streaming. So we'll go about the basics of uh, Kafka here. Then I'll mention like how do we work with Kafka topics and partitions. So there's a lot of nitty gritty involves here. I'll be explaining that. I'll be explaining the Kafka setup with Confluent Cloud. 
why i wanted to use some cloud here because that's how you'll be working with kafka because as a data engineer you won't be setting up kafka in your local computer and i don't want to you know add all those setup steps in there that is not required so in your job also you'll be using some cloud platform right you can you have like manage kafka cluster on aws azure as well as confluent cloud and confluent cloud gives you a gives you a free uh, trial i think it's $400 for one month that will be enough and I don't think that you will go above a trial period here so I wanted to do uh, Kafka in a Confluent cloud here so we'll be setting up that then I'll be showing you how do we produce data to Kafka then I'll show you how do we consume data from Kafka then we'll be setting up database community environment so this is required because we want to create spark structure streaming and kafka databricks community is enough for that then i'll be introducing spark structure streaming we'll be talking about every details uh, involved in spark structure streaming here then we'll see like how spark works with kafka here then it's a very important topic that we'll be talking about like how the Kafka offset works with stream processing. So this has a lot of details that we need to co co cover as in terms of Kafka offset as well as how Spark structure streaming handles this offset. Then we'll see like Kafka topics and partitions. How do we optimize it? How the partition should be declared and how Spark handles Kafka topics and partitions. Then we'll see like a very good use of window uh, using window uh, on Kafka streams and with Spark. Then we'll see like how do you uh, implement checkpoints and how how Spark is able to you know tolerate any fault that is happening on your uh, particular stream application. Then we'll see like how do we handle late data with watermark. This is a very important topic in Spark structure streaming and. I, and we'll end it with a real-time data pipeline with Kafka and Spark, right? So all this I'm planning like it will have like maybe 13 to 15 videos around it. So we'll try to cover everything that is uh, written here. And and at the end of this playlist, I want, want you to fall in love with this two technologies like with Spark and uh, Kafka and i want you to build the intuition around like how this two technology work together and i want to explore a different use cases around it how do you solve that particular real time application using spark structure streaming with kafka so that's my that's what i plan for this playlist and i'm you can you can hear it on my voice i'm pretty excited for this playlist and i hope that you enjoy this one and do subscribe if you, if you haven't already and give a like to this video and just comment in this video like uh, if you have any suggestion what are the things you want me to cover in as part of this playlist i'll be happy to do that